Deadly suicide bombings and political uncertainty are now the realities of everyday life for millions of Iraqis. But it's something few of them imagined when they were cheering the symbolic toppling of Saddam Hussein's statue in Baghdad a decade ago. Artist Marina Potnaya caught up with the U.S. soldier who played a key part in the historic moment. He says that the reasons for invading Iraq don't justify the lives lost. Exactly 10 years ago, a U.S. Marine from New York City made international headlines for his actions in Baghdad. Edward Chin tied a large noose around a massive statue of Saddam Hussein, wrapped the face of that statue in an American flag before that monument was eventually toppled. Right now, I am joined uh, by Mr. Chin uh, for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. Um, thank you for speaking with RT today. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Ten years have passed since that 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 moment where you essentially became a symbol for uh, the U.S. occupation and invasion in Iraq. You were 23 at the time when you climbed that statue. What do you know about the Iraq War now that you didn't know then? Uh, I mean, what I know now is it lasted 10 years longer than we expected. Um, they're still struggling to rebuild the country to and have a stable government. You climb that statue of Saddam Hussein and wrap the face of the statue in an American flag. Looking back on your actions, do you think that it was the appropriate thing to do as, as a foreigner coming in, invading a country, climbing the statue of a man who was the leader of that country and wrapping the face in an American I, flag? I, I can understand how maybe you know Iraqi civilians would see that as uh, a symbol of occupation, you know, but, you know, my reasons, you know, the reasons why we did it, you know, was for us. We, we had been in Iraq for uh, you know, over a month and, you know, we finally got to Baghdad. We were hoping that it would be the, mark the end of the world. We could mm -hmm. finally go home to our families. Mm -hmm. and that was what's important to us. And we hadn't seen an American flag for so long. It was not something we did just to show any kind of sense of occupation of the country. It was just, in a way, a spur of the moment. What do you know about U.S. foreign policy now that you didn't know then? We're not, we're not going to be told the truth, you know, about what happens, because at times it's going to be hard to accept, you know. I mean, if you mm -hmm. tell us that, if you, if you just come out and tell the, the public, oh, we're going to go to war to, you know, be able to control the oil in that region, I mean, of course, we're not just, just going to come out and say that. And, and, and how many people are going to sign up to risk their lives for exactly, that? Exactly, exactly. We're in the military. Hey, we do what we're told, you know, mm -hmm. and... We hope that, you know, the, you know, the right decisions are made, you know, to where we go. Once we're there, you know, we're going to fight with our honor. What do you think the, the, the war was for? I mean, I personally think it was for us to, you know, gain a foothold there, to stabilize the region. You know, I, I don't believe you tell me that if it was for, you know, weapons of that mass destruction, then so all those lives lost is definitely not worth it. As we obviously know, you know, today there's still no weapons to be found. You know, it would be worth it if it was to free a country of a dictator, yeah, but then if that was our reason, then there's a lot of other dictators in the world that needs to be mm -hmm. taken out, too. I hope that it was for the right reason. I look for the right reasons, you mm -hmm. know, because how can I not, in a way? You know, it would be too sad you know, if, you know, the reasons, you know, weren't justified. Edward Chin, thank yes. you very much for You're your welcome. time.